What's up guys, in today's video we're going to be checking out two width plugins to give you extreme width in your mixes and for single tracks. Now two plugins that I use quite a lot for width are Space Control by Acoustica and Stage 1 by Leapwing. And Leapwing just released Stage 1 too and it kind of compares to some of the ways Space Control works so I thought it'd be a great time to do a comparison video of the two. Full disclosure, I am not paid by either of these companies to do this review video. With that being said, if you do find this video useful and would like to support the channel so I can keep making these videos, you can give thanks in the button below or get any of my presets, courses, or have me mix and master your song uh, in my shop below as well. Anyway, let's get into the video. First, really quick, let's just go over what each one of these plugins do, and then we can get into some listening examples. First is stage one, two. Kind of weird, stage one, two. Uh, but let's go left to right and show what you can do. Now, I'm going to read some of these from the manual because it makes more sense than me trying to explain it. Uh, the width stretches the stereo field. Off-center content will move towards and possibly beyond the speakers. Phantom center is left untouched, and everything around it gets stretched or remapped to a wider stereo field. So that is basically your width plug in there. Depth adds directionality optimized reflections to create an enhanced sense of depth in the stereo field. So it's more front to center, right? Uh, next is what I think is pretty cool is this phase recovery button here. And what that does is it identifies out of phase components and realigns them to avoid losing information when summed to mono. So this is really helpful for your bass information. So then here you have, you know, a, a readout of the frequency information, which is nice to be able to, you know, see what you're doing. Plus you can change these bands here. I wish you could switch it on the actual frequency knob, but you can't. You got to click it here. And the other thing I really wish they would do, and maybe they'll do it in a, in a newer version, is if you could solo these bands. With space control, you can solo the band, and we'll get into that. Um, that'd be nice so you could just kind of dial in what you're doing a little better. Next is the mono spread, and what that does is utilize a unique filter design to convert a mono signal into a pseudo stereo signal. And lastly is the center of gravity, which is basically a panner inside the plugin that you can move the weight of it left to right. Moving on to space control, this one gets a little more in depth. Now you can kind of look at the space control as two different elements. You have the spread section over here and then the width section over here, right? So let's go over the spread section first. This is how much spread will be applied. Then there's three different algorithms, you could say. The first one's based on a house effect. The second one makes a decoloration of the center the midsection, which when you do that, gives you more side information. And three is a mix of both. I've found two to work pretty well most of the time. One can get a little weird to me, um, and three works sometimes as well, but two seems to be a good starting point. Then you have this dry wet knob. So this is great because this can get out of control quickly, and you gotta be really careful when you're using this spread section not to mess up your side information. It can get phasey uh, if you're not careful. So just using a little bit can go a long way. And then having this dry wet uh, is really helpful. And we'll get into this in a second. And then over on this side here, it's, it's kind of a nice feature to have. It's just gain. You can, you know, boost or cut any of the different frequency bands. Uh, just if you're getting, you know, some, if you, you know, you need a little more low end or there's too much mid when you make it wider, whatever. Nice to have over there. Over here is the width section, and it's probably a lot like the width section on the leap wing where you're just spreading out the sides. And it goes up to, up to, uh, 200, which is all the way out, and you can bring it down to zero, which is mono. So you can use this a lot in the low end if you want to zero out the low end, keep that mono, and then you know make the top end wider. Um, and it can even go even wider with two times. So you have one time and two times. So two time is like 400%, which is crazy. Now you'll notice here when I do this, this starts turning red, and that means it's getting a little bit out of phase, right? So what's really cool about this plug and one of my favorite parts is it has a limiter built in that will just limit the side information so that it doesn't go out of phase. And you can see it start working and the red goes away. So if I turn it on, there it is in the red. Sorry, if I turned it off, there it is in the red. And then I turn it on and you see the red goes away and now it's limiting to the sides. And you'll notice when we start listening is that it will, you know, the sides will come in. So you can play with this until it's, you know, sounds good, but isn't um, overly limiting the sides, which is losing the side information you've been trying to get. Uh, over here is just output gain. You have, uh, you can solo the mid and side, which isn't useful, and then the on and off bypass, which is helpful for acoustic stuff, so you don't get that strange click. 
All right, let's get into some listening examples. This song is Heavyweights by a good friend of mine, Trip Carter. Make sure to check him out on Apple Music and Spotify or wherever you listen to music. We're going to start with stage one, two this time and just play with it. Make it sound wider. So nice. Stage one gave us some nice width to it. I do notice that it seems like stage one gets a little louder sometimes, uh, but it does do what it says on the box. I think it's a lot easier to get wider, faster with stage one, where space control can take a little more time, but I think you can do a lot more with it as far as getting like crazy wide. So depending what you're going for, you might reach for one plug and over another. So let's move on to space control and see what this can do. See, that solo knob is, is really helpful. Just saying, it's helpful. So there's space control. You know, we could play with this one all day. That's what I was saying. You can really dial stuff in and keep messing with things with space control. So it can take a little bit longer, but maybe get you to the result you wanted more so than stage one, two might. Let's just go back and forth and maybe the two just to see what they sound like. So they sound quite different. Space control, we need to dial in a bit more. It is sounding a little bit phasey right now. Stage one's weird. It sounds like the bass comes up when you turn that on. So you would need to spend more time than just this to get them dialed in right, but both will be great for good with plugins. Okay guys, so hopefully this video was helpful for you to see some ways to get more width out of your mixes. If you have any questions or comments about them, put them in the comments below. What is your favorite width plugin? Let me know. Uh, if you need your songs mixed or mastered, hit me up at mixedmastermysong.com. You can also find my courses and presets there too. Talk to you soon.